Okay, score one for the power of persistence. A new Hanover County man was really upset with his car tax bill, but he did not let the issue skid out. He contacted us. He did. We contacted Senator Michael Lee, and the county has now changed its policy in an effort to be more fair to taxpayers. WECT's investigative reporter Ann McAdams joins us now with that story. Ann? Fran and Bill, we reported over the years about a classic car tax that many of you considered unfair. When a car turns 25 years old, the county tax department automatically revalues it as a classic, which significantly and often incorrectly inflates the assessed value of the car. You know, you got a sunroof that doesn't work, uh, got gaskets on it that need to be replaced. Ned Pitts is the original owner of this 1988 Volvo station wagon. It still runs great, but you don't have to look very hard to see it hasn't been restored to its original condition. It's just an old car that is a commonplace sort of car. It's not the kind you would think would be a classic. The car was worth about $700 the first time the county sent Pitts a bill using classic car estimates to calculate its worth. That inflated the tax value to over $9,000. I thought at first it was just a mistake. And when I called up the tax office, they said, oh no, when a car hits 25 years old, it's automatically classified as a classic vehicle. Pitts appealed and his car tax bill was reduced. But the next year, he got another bill in the mail, which had reverted the car's assessed value back to $9,000. The way they do it is every year the value sets back up to the higher value. So you've got a large group of people out there that have been taken advantage of. A lot of them don't know. I'd say probably the majority don't know they could appeal this. Fed up, Ned called us and told us about some state statutes on antique cars he'd uncovered that were potentially at odds with the county's classic car tax policy. We called Senator Michael Lee, who did some research of his own, and reached out to the county. Senator Lee had been perhaps looking into it and um, expressed perhaps some concern with how we were doing it. And what we were doing was acceptable, but not necessarily in the best interest of the taxpayer or most fair to the taxpayer. New Hanover County has now changed its procedure and will send out letters to residents who have cars over 25 years old, warning them their cars will be assessed as classics before the tax bill is generated. That should help taxpayers recognize a potentially inflated valuation and give them more time to challenge it. So can you get a refund if you've already overpaid without realizing it? Unfortunately not. The county says state law won't allow it unless there was an illegal tax. And while questionable, they say this classic car tax is not illegal. This automatic revaluation of old cars as classics generates about $100,000 a year for New Hanover County. Reporting live, Ann McAdams, WECT News.